they're in the news, your friends lost 50 pounds, and you see a commercial for them every time you watch TV. The newest diabetes medications are powerful, popular, and worth understanding better. Hey everyone, Dr. Sugar here, and in this video we are exploring diabetes medications. Sometimes, despite our best efforts with food choices and activity, our bodies might need extra help, and that's where medications play an important role. The three most powerful classes of diabetes medications are SGLT2s, GLP1s, and insulin. SGLT2s work on our kidneys by preventing our body from reabsorbing the sugar it wants to hold on to. The kidney's job is to help clean the blood, but our kidneys weren't designed to see really high levels of sugar. So, anytime our blood sugar gets high, the kidneys can't handle it, and some of that sugar will spill into our bladder. So basically, an SGLT2 helps keep sugar off our freeways to lower the average level of glucose in our body. The other class of medications that have been getting a lot of attention are GLP-1s. GLP-1s work in several ways. Most notably, they help slow down gastric emptying, which reduces our appetite. Digestion normally takes about one hour. When we take a GLP-1, it tells our body to slow that digestion down. So instead of one hour, that food will sit in our stomach for upwards of four hours. So when you eat your next meal, you still have some of the previous meal in your stomach and you don't have as much room. Basically, GLP-1s help us eat less and feel fuller. When we eat less, two things happen. One, we have less sugar to deal with, and two, you may lose weight. Eating less sugar and losing weight are both great outcomes for people with diabetes, but like any medication, they can have side effects. It's also difficult to tell if these medications are working or see their effect on your glucose, and that's where our friend Dexcom G7 comes in. Since Dexcom G7 continuously monitors the amount of glucose in your body, you can see how these medications are impacting your glucose in the moment. This can help you and your doctor make sure you're taking the right amount of medication and that you're more attuned to how changing the dose affects your glucose. Lastly, insulin is also a medication. People with type 1 diabetes must use insulin because their body does not produce any. And for type 2, when the body doesn't respond well to the insulin it does produce, or other medications aren't working, we may have to add insulin to help remove the sugar from the bloodstream. Based on an individual's need, there are a couple types of insulins, long-acting and short-acting, and a couple different modes of delivering insulin. Regardless of the type of insulin, delivery method, or quantity, insulin's job is to provide off-ramps for the sugar to get off the freeway. Insulin can be challenging to balance, and there are risks for both high and low sugar readings, Low sugar can be very dangerous, and it is important to monitor your sugar levels closely when you take insulin. Dexcom G7 helps reduce some of the risks in taking insulin. It shows people where their glucose reading is, what direction it's headed, and how fast it's changing. It helps users make smarter insulin dosing decisions. Remember, with the right combination of food, activity, medication, and Dexcom G7, over time you can learn to master the act of balancing your sugar and take control of your diabetes. 